In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to play Take 5 on piano. My name is Paul Toby from jazzmental.com and this tutorial is all about Take 5 in 5-4. It's a heck of a lot of fun to play and it made our list of top 10 most requested songs. Let's play it through once. So let's get started. So as you can see, take five, according to the piece of music that I have laid out in front of you, is in five, four time. It helps to think of it like a bar of three and a bar of two. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. So if you're not used to playing in five, four time, that's the feel that you need to take. So it's a good idea to play this really slowly in the beginning and try to get your fingers around this beat. One, two, and three. Now a lot of people play the bass like this. But I find it helps to play the lower E flat with the fifth finger and the upper E flat with the thumb because it kind of rocks back and forth and has that feel. And it's a good idea, like I said, to play that over and over and over again. It's just an E flat chord and basically a D flat but it is B flat minor, so. So then when the melody takes over at letter A, there's a pickup. Now, where does that come from? It's a good idea to think about it like a blues scale. So, it really is a blues scale, it's just taking notes from that scale. And then when we get to the B section, I'm going to play the chords in the left hand and spell them out for you a little bit because it's important to understand the chords because eventually we're going to learn to solo on this. So this is really just part of a playlist and we're just going through the song first and then in the playlist we'll dive into more of the soloing and put a bass line in and put some drums in and stuff like that. So we've got a long way to go, but this is really just the first video. But I, I think it's important to understand the chords, first of all. So B major 7 is this. Just take the 7th and put it in the, in the bass. And then the next chords is really part of my system of 2-5-1 chords. So playing them in 3rd inversion. So when you play like all of these 2-5-1s, like C minor, to F7, B flat minor, to E flat seven, A flat minor, to D flat seven, you're just really playing the chord in, like I say, third inversion, and then just dropping one note to become the seventh of the next chord. So this, the chords that I wrote in here are from that 
251 series. I'll actually post a link up here if you want to go and take a look at those left hand chord voicings video. It's really helpful when looking at something like this. So. So that G diminished seventh chord is also a B flat diminished chord, which is also a D flat diminished chord, which is also an E diminished chord. So again, it's just because it's got G in the root that I'm making it a G diminished seventh chord. So B major seventh chord to the A minor seventh chord. So that B minor 7 to E flat 7, that's right out of that 251 progression video that I just talked about. And then the A minor 7 to D flat 7, same thing. So it's just this progression, right? And it just keeps going like that. So. So this is interesting. It's a two five. So it's an F minor seven with a ninth to a B flat seven with a flat nine, which is the flat nine. So I think the interesting part about that riff and that sort of 5-4 feel is that you're trying with your fingers to keep it going even though you're playing the melody. So you'll notice that I go... So instead of playing the whole, I'm just playing these two notes in the bottom to cover the E flat minor chord. I'm holding my finger on the E flat chord. And then with this one, I'm just playing these two notes in the right hand. Holding the B flat and playing the G flat and the F. And eventually what's going to happen is that feel of that 5-4 will just kind of seep into your consciousness. And eventually you'll be able to solo. And we will talk about the scales and the chords that we're going to solo over in one of the next videos. But let me play you a little bit of what that might sound like. So soloing is really fun over this tune, and eventually when you get to the bridge, you can also solo over that as well. So let's see.
So it's really all about that 5-4 feel, bar of 3, bar of 2, bar of 3, bar of 2, and just getting that feel. So I hope that made sense to you. I'm going to continue this playlist with other videos focused on the soloing, the chords, the scales, all of that kind of stuff. And we're going to add some bass and drums to it as well and have a lot of fun with this tune. It did, like I said in the beginning, make our list of top 10 most requested jazz songs. So I think it's important as a player, if you learn this, it's you're going to be pretty popular out there. Get some gigs, go play at parties and stuff and, you know, just have some fun with it. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions or comments about this and you want to drill down on anything specific, just write them in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you. My name is Paul Toby. Thanks for your time.